introduction to see friends after visiting the wonderful world of computers you might be eager to know more about it so first of all tell me how do we communicate with others with the help of language right in the same way to communicate in the world of computers we need a language so friends let us begin our journey of programming languages this takes us back to 1960s by that time many languages had come into existence for example cobol fortran algol 60 etc however algol 60 was too abstract in order to reduce its abstractness a new language called combined programming language cpl was developed at cambridge university then came the basic combined programming language bcpl which was developed by martin richards at the cambridge university at the same time a language called b was written by ken thompson at atnt's bell labs but like bcpl b was also very specific so the b language was modified by dennis ritchie and was implemented at the bell laboratories in 1972 this new language was named c all of us know that every language consists of alphabets or characters and by combining the alphabets we can form the words which in turn are combined to form sentences and sentences are combined to form paragraphs in the same way c language also consists of a character set using the character set constants variables and keywords are constructed and by using all these we can form instructions finally the instructions are combined to form a program the character set of c language consists of alphabets digits and special symbols as shown when the alphabets digits or special characters are combined the constants variables and keywords are formed let's see what are constants and variables a constant is a quantity that does not change it is stored in the memory location of the computer now if the memory location is given some name then the quantity is known as the variable note that the content of the variable can change for example 1000 is stored in the memory location which is given the name as amount here 1000 is constant as the value does not change but the memory location amount can contain any value hence it is called as the variable Now let's move on to different types of constants. They are integer constant, real constant and character constant. An integer constant refers to a sequence of digits. It might be positive or negative. An integer constant doesn't consist of decimal points, commas and blank spaces. Some quantities like distances heights temperatures prices cannot be represented by integers these quantities are represented by numbers containing fractional parts such numbers are called real or floating point constants the real constant can be expressed either in fractional or in exponential form a character constant is a single alphabet or a single digit or a single special symbol enclosed within the single inverted commas all right next we will see the keywords of c language the keywords are the words which have fixed meanings and these meanings cannot be changed 
keywords serve as basic building blocks for program statements. There are in all 32 keywords in C language. Observe the list of keywords. So let's have a quick recap. We learned about the history of languages, the basic concepts of C language. Then we discussed about the constants, variables and keywords of the C language.